Hey, 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 happy new years to everyone out there. Also, I'm going to put my new channel in the community post. It's free. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, support the channel. And, um, yeah, I'll be doing, like, um, different content over there. It'll be about my food, what I cook. I'm also going to start incorporating hauls in there, like, grocery hauls. Like, if I buy anything for myself, clothes or whatever, um, gossip, celebrity gossip, um, anything just about me and just in general. Um, so get over there and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to put it in my community post after this video. Uh, but let's get into it, okay? Um, so a lot of people, I, I, you know, I ruffled a lot of people's feathers with my last video, right? Um, when it, on Jazz Jazz. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this right here. I don't have nothing against Jazz Jazz. I don't know her personally. I watch her content every now and then. I don't watch her no every day. Um, but just because you like a person and you like their content, don't mean that everything that they do is right. They're just like a family member. Don't mean that everything that they do is right, okay? So, she did get on here and say that, um, you know, that she can't talk about... Um, I guess it's her oldest daughter because I think I think it's the oldest one. The thirteen year old is the oldest one. I think she have a. If I'm not mistaken, if I got it wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Then I think she got like eleven year old or something like that. Um, but anyway, um, she said that she been going through it with the situation with her daughter and her being influenced and her want to do what she want to do and hang with people that she don't need to be hanging around and doing all this. Um, you know, all this stuff, but you know, I can really get into a lot, but I'm really not. But I'm gonna say this sometimes it be deeper issues going on there, and sometimes it really it don't always have to do with you know, the mothering, the mother, and sometimes it can be like genetics, genes, um, got to do with. <laughs> Down the bloodline screen, you know, like a dead side of the family, you know, it can be hereditary. Some stuff is a hereditary. People don't look at that. I know from from observing and watching stuff and seeing different things in my family and then seeing things for things in other people's family that you do pick up stuff um, from the dead side of the family and you pick up stuff from your mom's side of the family. Um, sometimes more side, one side than the other, and it can affect you in your real life, and it can trickle down and be a generational, we ain't gonna say no curse, gen generational being, that's who you is, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, when I was thinking about it, I was like, dang, that is, when I think about stuff like that, I always be thinking, and I observe, and I think about stuff, and I'm like, yeah, that is true because she did not get that from this side. So she might get that from my daddy's side. And the people, you don't even have to be the dad doing it. It could be the, somebody in the family. You know what I'm saying? It, it, like, it's like genetics, like genes can be. Yeah, this is real deep, but I'm not going to get into getting too deep into it. But anybody know me, know me. If anybody want me like to talk about that one day about how I, you know, observing and discernment, and, and, and that's why you have to watch who you have kids with. That's why you have to watch who you get with the man and the woman. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, yeah, but a lot of people don't. They don't care. You know, they they don't think about all that stuff when they in that moment. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, but she was talking about the police was getting called and stuff like that, and then she's getting updates and stuff and that. But I, but one thing about it is, why are you, why are y'all even talking to the people, other people that know her, they can give her the heads up on if they're trying to catch her and you know, and trying to get her in contact with her and trying to catch her to either you know handle what she did. You got her in trouble or bring her home. Why are you running your mouth and telling people or telling your younger daughter or whatever or whoever about the plans that you and the police probably made to try to find her 
And then she gets the heads up on it, and then she don't go, or she don't, and they can't get her because she found out about it. I don't get that. If you need to keep it to yourself until it happens. Why run your mouth about it to make stuff more difficult for the situation and it make it harder for y'all to keep, continue to find her? That's one thing. That's one part I did not get. Uh, yes, we know it's hard raising kids. Yes, we know all kids are different. I have a daughter myself, okay? Um, she in college, thank God. But it's still a, it's still a, a struggle. You still have to talk to them. You still got to guide them. You still got to tell them right from wrong. Even in college, okay, because they still don't know everything. They still learning. They still developing. Um, but my thing is this: she uh, even told on herself and said that she haven't been the best of mother as far as uh, keeping an eye on you know all the kids and making sure everybody is good in certain areas. Um, because let me tell you this. This YouTube is time consuming. It is. It's time consuming. Editing, doing videos, coming up with content, going out, doing all this stuff. It's not easy as people think it is. If you're a content creator, you know. So she spent a lot of time on YouTube, social media, and I don't tell know how many platforms she has. I only know her from YouTube, okay? But it's time consuming. She have all these kids that she had to look at and look and look at them and watch. And you got to nurture kids. I didn't start doing YouTube until my daughter was, um, I think she was in like the 10th grade. No, the 11th, the 11th grade. Now she's graduating and in college. And so she was a big kid and I had, and I still nurtured her and everything like that. But she was up in age where she knew that I really didn't have to do a whole, I still had to do parenting. But I didn't have to do a whole lot as far as little bitty kids like 11, 3, and 2. You know, like her. A 13-year-old, is that's right there. That's right there where you really need that guidance. So it's really different. But a lot of people was coming down my throat, which I really didn't care because I'm going to still speak my opinion. And a lot of people agree with me. But a lot of people saying, you know, this is her. She can come on here and say what she want. It's her channel. I like that she being transparent. Okay, y'all, I already told y'all about that transparent stuff. It's, it, yes, you can be transparent, but you don't got to go. Some people just do too much going into more, telling all their business. Being transparent and being dumb and telling all your business is two different things. Now, I'm, I'm a transparent person. I'm a real person. But some stuff you is not for the camera. Some stuff is just you need to take care of it off the screen. And everybody know that. Anybody that know that. Everything ain't for everybody. And just because you can say it and you can explain it and you can talk about it does not mean that it needs to be talked about online. But I digress. It's her channel. She can do what she want. And it, it haven't got her no for her. It haven't got her for her, but It haven't got her for her doing it. If you can see, it haven't got her for her doing it. But a lot of BS and they telling her to be quiet without running your mouth. So, but it is her channel. She can do what she want. But like I said, I wish her the best in finding her daughter, getting her the help she needs, and all that good stuff. And yes, she do have other kids she have to worry about. Uh, but she can't throw her door to the wayside. Uh, but she do have to show her tough love. If she don't want to respect her household, she don't need to be in a household. I do agree with that. You know, it's just simple as that. You don't need to be at home if you're not going to be respectful and abide by my rules. Uh, I do what I say. You know, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. I just want to do that because I want to talk about her last video of her. Uh, really still want to blab her mouth and tell everything. Like, just pray, keep it pushing. Um, I understand you want to give your people updates. So you say you're like family, like your sisters. But I think that's using it as an excuse just to run your mouth and uh, that's what I believe. But anyway, on that note, I just digress. Y'all let me know what y'all think. See y'all in the next one. Um, yeah. Bye.